College Beauty Results. That we, that's what you can expect at Sweatnam Cosmetic Surgery. It's time for our monthly segment sponsored by Sweatnam Cosmetic Surgery. Doctors Jeff Sweatnam and Jason Stubbs are mm -hmm. back with us again. It's so great to see you, gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks as always for joining us. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having us. Welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. Now, today's segment, this one is really near and dear to my heart because it's for moms. And we're going to be talking about mommy makeovers. That's right. I need That's to right. know all the details on this one. <laughs> Let's start with what is a mommy makeover? Well, my makeovers, I mean, obviously, your body's not the same after you have a baby. Uh, unless you're a guy, of course, we don't pay the price. But a lot, a lot of women, you know, obviously skin stretches mm -hmm. when, you're, when you become pregnant, and a lot of times it doesn't go back. And, uh, and the same with breasts after breastfeeding and uh, having several children, they don't go back either. And so what we, uh, one of the things we specialize in is trying to, to regain the pre-baby body. And that's what a mommy makeover is. And it can vary from uh, just breast and abdomen to breast, abdomen with some liposuction. Okay. A, lot, a lot of women like to have liposuction of the back to get that uh, shape, get rid of bra rolls, hips, uh, or the, you know, the muffin top, some people call it. Uh, so it can, it can vary from one uh, person to another. Sure. sure. Now, if someone's interested in this procedure, how do they know if they're going to be a good candidate for it? Well, at, you know, obviously everything we do is elective pretty much. Okay. So uh, your basic medical history is, is kind of where we start. That's kind of foundational. If you have significant medical problems that would prohibit you from having elective surgery, well, that would obviously be a contraindication. But barring anything like that, mm -hmm. um, you know, weight's an issue for some people. We want you to be at, you know, kind of at your playing weight, uh, so to speak, or as close to it as possible. Um, uh, but you know those are kind of the biggest things um, whether you need a lift or just uh, breast augmentation depends on the nipple position uh, how much droop is in the is in the breast skin quality those kind of things okay. um, you know some women can qualify for a mini tummy tuck versus a, a standard regular tummy tuck and it again it depends on skin quality and those kind of things so it, it kind of depends on your evaluation. Sure, and we saw earlier, because um, we had some, your, your website up, so there are several procedures. You can do a tummy tuck, you can do augmentation Correct. of the breast. There were several procedures there. Is there a limit to the number of procedures maybe someone can get when it comes to a makeover like this? Sure, the mommy makeover is a good combination of a couple procedures, okay. right? So if you, you want to keep it to around four hours or less mm -hmm. on average, you know, give or take, depending on the health status of the patient. but. Um, another benefit from the mind makeover is, is those muscles of the abdomen get separated from having a baby. And so during the tummy tuck, the added benefit is we're able to actually bring those muscles back together, which will stabilize the pelvis and the hips and you actually can exercise and have better endurance, et cetera. Sure. So, but yeah, it's nice to get two procedures done at the same time. So there's only one recovery. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. 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 So. yeah. Well, what's that recovery process like? So, I. Uh, Usually we see you within the week, but it's really not too bad because we have a lot of numbing medicine and blocks that we use. So we have a long acting medicine for the tummy. So you really don't feel pain for the le about three days afterwards. So you, the initial recovery is really not as bad as you think it's gonna be. Wow. Sure. So. And I'm glad you mentioned, uh, Dr. Swetnam, you mentioned making sure from a medical standpoint that, um, that you're pretty much good to go. So is that, um, something that you would, the patient would do in your office, they would do like a, maybe a medical workup to make sure that they would be a good candidate for yes. the procedure? Yes, we, I mean, we're very cognizant of those kind of things because we're not, you know, the, the last thing you want to do is come in for a cosmetic procedure and not do well. Sure. And, you know, that's not good for you, it's not good for us. Uh, we, we are results driven and so we, we want to make sure everybody's uh, capable of undergoing a procedure. Yeah. yeah. And we have a, you know, we use uh, some of the things that we've stolen from like general surgery or early recovery after surgery programs, and he was touching on that a little bit. Uh, we've had an amazing luck with pain control, uh, recoveries going from two to three weeks to, to like a week yeah. just okay. by, by using uh, certain techniques that we use in other fields with, you know, limiting narcotic use and uh, improving pain relief from all of the other directions. And sure. it's, it's, we've had amazing results with it and yeah. uh, outstanding. Yeah. And you're calling it a mommy makeover, right? But these procedures, mm -hmm. are they just for moms? No. Great no, question. They, yeah, all breast procedures can be done 
I mean, there are, there are a lot of women that are born with uh, breast deformities and things that live with them for a long time and then finally show up and are just tired of it. And those things we can fix, uh, just the aging breast a lot of times is, uh, causes problems too. C-sections are a big problem. When women have C-sections, they kind of have that, that lapped over where the incision sure. is. Uh, I mean, that's, cl that's perfect for many tummy tucks where you can just kind of revise that and remove that little excess fat. And, add a little liposuction to it and get some curves going and uh, there are a lot of things that, that we can do and, yeah. and it, you know it's uh, it's not a one-size-fits-all come in you know our consultations don't cost you anything so you can come in we can give you an idea of what we think is best for you and, um, and that's the best way to do it the nice thing about that is we have the abilities we've done these procedures and so if something's really bothering you it's worth seeing that it can be easily fixed or sure. not. Because a lot of times it's way easier than you think it is. Sure, yeah. yeah. You have any yeah. specials that you're running right now that we need to know about? Yeah, we have a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got, we got uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah. So okay. we've, got, we've got things for, for the guys, things for the women. You know, we have uh, uh, one of our uh, really great things we have in our office that we combine with liposuction and tummy tucks is massage. We've got oh. Michael Pearson who's probably the best masseuse in the area. He's trained in all kinds of pre and post-op massage, sports massages. So we've got guy packages, girl packages that are really good deals on some stuff for Valentine's Day and for on our February specials. And just, I'm not gonna talk about them. Go online yeah. <laughs> and you can look for them and we'll help you any way we can. Yeah, that's the best place. Folks getting ready for Valentine's Day, getting ready for spring break, even getting ready for the summer. You're gonna yeah. wanna see the pros there at Sweat. So yeah. thanks, gentlemen, for joining us Thank as you. always. We appreciate you. And thanks for letting us know about everything you got going on.